Am I prepared for a catastrophe? A scary question because your answer. No. No. Probably not as much as I should be. Could spell disaster for you and your loved ones. By tomorrow morning, we could wake up and it could be an entirely different world where you're going to have to rely on yourself. Survival specialist Tom Laskowski says it's not if a catastrophe will happen, but when. So many things can cause a uh, collapse of societies. Possibly predictions for the year 2012, but far more likely are a pandemic, political upheaval, economic depression, or natural disaster. Society is fragile. Something's going to happen. Survival experts like Tom say there's a basic formula when it comes to who will survive a catastrophe and who won't. It's called 1080-10. The top 10% are prepared survivors. The bottom 10% freak out. But the vast majority, 80%, just freeze. 80% of the people will get that deer in the headlights look, just staring, not knowing what to do, and at the mercy of, uh, of others. <laughs> As director of the survival school Midwest Native Skills, Tom says the time to prepare is now. You're going to want to put their safety and security into somebody else's hands. Starting with shelter. Hypothermia is the number one killer in the woods, which is why I recommend to stay in your homes. Unless you're evacuated, and Tom says stick to one room. And you're not trying to keep your entire house warm. You're picking out one room in your house, and that's the room you're going to live in. Water is essential. You can go only three days without water, and a person needs a gallon of water a day to be healthy. Your hot water tank is an excellent source. Just remember, if the situation is bad enough, water coming into the home could be contaminated. So turn off the master shutoff valve to keep that tank water safe. Gutters also make great collection systems, as do swimming pools. And then you're going to need a way to purify the water. The easiest way is to boil it. If you can't boil it, you can use bleach. Eight drops of bleach per gallon will purify the water. Next, you'll need fire. You wouldn't match by a chance, would you? You don't want to be this guy, so pack a home survival kit with lots of tinder and lighters. You want to be at least 50 feet away from your house. Something called a flash stick also works really well. You push down on it, like that. Other supplies you'll need include a radio, light source, batteries, a heater with fuel, first aid kit, any medications, and food. I recommend about four weeks worth of food. Canned food is best. You can store the food for five, six years without refrigeration. For less than 10 bucks, something called a gamma lid can preserve dry items like rice, pasta, sugar, and coffee inside a five gallon bucket. Food safe ration here at least 10 years, probably longer. All of Tom's tips are simple and inexpensive, but he says the price for not preparing could be your life. It's like getting house insurance. Hope we never use it, but it's sure nice to have the insurance. In Seven Hills, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.